This happens when two planets, in our case, Earth and Jupiter, come in opposition of one another. Our two orbits here show the Earth currently behind Jupiter in its orbit around the Sun, kind of like, you know, two track runners running in their lanes. But since we, the Earth, are closer to the Sun, is that we eventually appear to catch up to Jupiter. This goes for other planets as well. If we look straight at Jupiter, is that it looks like it's, you know, right beside the given clip art blue star. But as Earth catches up to Jupiter, is that the new line of sight makes Jupiter now appear to be moving away from that blue star. This apparent movement can, would continue to be observed in the subsequent days and months. So, us Earth dwellers, including the Magi back then, would see Jupiter wandering back and forth in the sky, regardless if you're under the ancient's geocentric mindset or today's Copernican heliocentric one. So, just to see this in a smooth transition, here you go. And putting Leo in the background is that you can see the example now moving forward and backward around Regulus. And that's why Molnar has Jupiter zigzagging on the Aries, Aries coin with its description of dates when Jupiter appeared to reverse course. But going back to our 3 2 BC display, is that you can see the same apparent forward, then backward, then forward again movement of Jupiter around Regulus. And this explains the Magi's description of the star, i.e. Jupiter, that continued to move before them. But then it came to a stop by standing over top of Bethlehem. So, continuing on from June 17, 2 BC, is that you see a clustering of planets on August 26. Could have this meant anything to the Magi? Yeah, hard to say because nothing in Matthew indicates that. Mercury was the messenger of the gods, the equivalent of Hermes to the Greeks, and Mars being the god of war, equivalent to Ares. So, you know, maybe it's possible, but I personally am not going to make too much out of this. But it is worth showing that there were other planetary conjunctions and clustering going on that could have meant something to the Magi, especially with their pagan background. But after the third conjunction of Jupiter and Regulus on May 8th, 2 BC, is that Jupiter continued to move forward in the sky, meeting with Venus on June 17th. Then we see that clustering on August 26th. And as it kept moving forward, is that at this point, we are looking for the retrograde to kick in. Can you see it? It started to move back right at the end of December in 2 BC. Let's go back a little bit and see it in slow-mo with it seeming to stop just like the Magi said it did in verse 9 on December 25th, 68 degrees above the southern horizon, directly over top of Bethlehem. Guys, even the History Channel acknowledges this movement. Reminder, hit the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, and leave a comment. And don't forget to visit us at justwithy.org. But in the meantime, stay salty.